Stampers, Deb Valdo, your fun Stampers Journey coach here today to show you how to do a technique I call wallpapering. It's been around forever. Um, I just want to bring it back and show you and add it to my video library. So this is the two cards that I'm going to show you right that are finished cards. If you want to see more samples, just hop on over to my blog and I'm going to show you some samples that will knock your socks off. So that's at www.stamplady, spelled S-T-A-M-P-L-A-D-E-E dot com. And um, like I said, there's going to be some really nice samples over there as well. So today I'm going to show you how to do this card and I'll show you the stamp sets that I use. Um, for this one right here, all I used was Wonderful Day. It's a beautiful stamp set that I use an awful lot. You've seen me showcase it on my um, YouTube videos quite a bit. So this is the stamp set that I'm using for today. Um, I wanted to show you this card right here is done with Sweet You. And then I did the Happy Birthday from another stamp set, but this is done, this one right here was done with Sweet You. All right. And then for this card also, I used the um, the uh, thin metal dies and this one is called badge label now remember if you're viewing my um, blog or my YouTube video now March 2016 there's a fantastic sale going on um, our dies and um, uh, many other things um, that are green are on sale at 20% off so these dies are amazing and they are on sale for 20% off so make sure you hop on over to my blog there's a link to the um, the download for this special it's called the lucky me special and it is fantastic. So these dies right here are this right here. I'm also going to be using some of these adorable little dots and um, they coordinated with my cool pool um, ribbon and my cool pool paper. Alrighty, so let's get started. I want to start with the actual background because that is the crux of my entire um, presentation today. So I'm going to set this aside because I need to bring in a piece of scrap paper and then I'm going to bring in my, um, my cut piece of cardstock. Now, um, you can do this, and I'm going to show you in just a moment, but you can do this on a full sheet of paper and then cut it up. That is the fastest way ever to do it. But for right now, um, I'm going to show you how to do it right on here. The first thing that I did was I took our largest block, and I'm going to tell you this is a very large block. I love it. I use it for a lot of different things, but it lends itself very good to this, um, this technique right here. And what I did was to take every single one of these flowers from this stamp set and I just merge them all together on this block so that the stamping is even faster. So now that they're all together I just kind of nested them in there so now all I have to do is stamp just a few times rather than each individual one by one um, and I'm going to show you how to nest them. So I always make sure that I have things that are sticking out so that if I need to wiggle it in there and you'll see what I mean in just a moment but if I need to wiggle something in there I've got a piece that I can do that with. So these are all nested together waiting for the black licorice ink. Now you don't have to stamp in black. The two, the two samples I showed you are black and I'm going to show you a couple more in just a moment but this is amazing. It's always good to take your ink to your paper instead of your paper to your ink because, I'm sorry, your ink to your stamp instead of your stamp to your ink because then you can see what you've um, stamped and what you haven't stamped. So now what I'm going to do is just lay this down just like that all right, and then just press really hard and there's our first image. Isn't that gorgeous? And look at, you didn't have to think about where you were going to stamp. You didn't have to think about what you were going to stamp. It's all done for you. It's like making your own backgrounds. So um, when we say wallpapering, and I'm going to show you what I really mean by the wallpapering part of it. Um, it is just, whoo, it's just amazing. All right, these are very heavy and my hands are very tiny. So now what you want to do is make sure that you get it all nested in there nicely. And then just re-ink up. I might have maybe one or two more times. Let's see how it fits right in there. So I'm going to grab this and you see how I'm going to turn this so that this little um, jut right here is going to fit right around that beautiful flower. Okay, there we go. Alrighty. And there is our wallpaper. Isn't that absolutely gorgeous? Now on this card, I've also added a, another stamp. You don't need to do that. This alone looks absolutely gorgeous. But what I'm going to do is I'm just going to add the, the little word friend. And that comes from this stamp set right here. 
Um, it's um, uh, it's one of our AT, what we call our ATSs. It's an artist trading stamp. This one has 19 stamps in it. 19. It's $7.95 or you can get it free as a hostess. So for this card right here, I think this one I did friend, but I think for this one, I think I will uh, let me see. I'm going to do you are special. So I'm going to grab one of my littlest blocks, add this right to it. All right. I always make sure that, that my little flower is on top so that everybody knows what is the top and what is the bottom. All right, so my little flower is up there. My letter is down there. This is a D block, but my letter is right up there. So let's bring back in my black licorice ink. And now, like I said, this is beautiful all by itself, but I wanted to show you just how it looks um, when you add some words in between it. You see, you can just kind of fill in. That way there, if you do make a, well, there's no mistake, but if you do have a blank spot, you can just add add some words to it. And this stamp is absolutely perfect for this because they are so tiny. All right, you don't want to overdo it. You don't want overkill here. All right, so there, there's my You Are Special in there. All right, let's bring this back out. And we're ready to, um, oh no, we have to stamp our words. So I'm going to take my little, my little, um, uh, pieces I, I uh, put punched out with my uh, thin metal die. Bring back in my black licorice one more time, and I'm going to just stamp the words right here in the middle. All right, and I line things up with these blocks. Um, so so fantastic. I use the grids to go along with my grid on here, and it works perfectly, absolutely perfectly. All righty. So there's my my um, my words right there. Now what I need to do is to put the card together. Um, here is the background. Let me grab this out of the way. Here is my background, okay, right in here. Um, I want to bring in this piece right here. You know me. I never put anything together, um, layer on top of layer, without punching something out. Um, so just so I'm not wasting paper. So I just grabbed one of my little punches. This happens to be um, my little flower punch. And I'm just going to punch out a bunch of these just so that I have them. So I'll do this a, oops, I'll do this a couple times. And I'm just turning the punch upside down so that I can see where I'm punching it. Yeah, this, this kind of punching is absolutely awesome for um, people with arth arthritis, um, people like me who just have a hard time punching sometimes. Um, I, I love our new punches. Alrighty, so that's what it looks like. No one's ever going to see it. And now I have all these little flowers that I can add to um, something um, at, an, at a later time. Alright, so this is just going to get layered on here. So let's grab our Easy Glide glue. And I love this. It doesn't have anything hanging off of it. It just works so good. All right, so we're going to add this to this. And there's no right side up or upside down, remember, because this is just wallpaper. All right, so there's that. Let's add it to our card base. And again, all the dimensions, everything is going to be written out on my um, blog. So make sure you hop on over there. And let's add this piece to it. See how fast this card is? But I'm going to show you how, how much faster you can even do it, even than this. All right, so let's glue these two pieces together. And... I'm keeping it down just a tad because I want to add a bow up here. I'm going to bring in one of my little dots right here. You can pick whichever size you want. Uh, let's see. I'm going to grab the smallest one, I think, right here. And add it right here to the bottom. All right, so far so good. Now, what I want to do is pop this up. So I'm going to take some of my, um, I'm going to use the small foam squares. And why waste the big ones when you really don't need it? We're just going to add that to the, the card base. Now, what I love about this die is that it has a flat top. Do you see that? And the reason I like that is because we can um, add it right to the very top of our card. Right here, see? And it just lines up. There's not a design up and top. So it's actually made for the top, I think. It's made for the top of the card. Now, I want to do a little bit of a different bow because people sometimes say I have a hard time... Um, uh, tying a bow with um, the satin ribbon. Well, it's really not that hard, but I'm going to show you another another way to do this. So I'm going to take my bow. I'm going to take one of our mini glue dots here and just add that to the back of this. And now what I want to do is just make this little loop just like that. Okay, so far so good. That's going to be the center of the back. All right. And then what I'm going to bring in is some of my journey thread. Just start it on the back so I have a tie. 
and then squish this and just wrap it around. And this is just a little bit of a different kind of a bow. I like to show you all different kinds because some people are bow challenged. This is so easy for somebody that is bow challenged. All right, and then we're just going to tie this in the back. Bring in the best scissors I've ever used in my entire life. They don't collect glue. And now we have our little bow. Let's just fluff it up just a little bit here. And I can play with this a little bit more afterwards, but it's just cute, cute, cute. All right, let's take a couple of little mini glue dots, and I'm going to add those to the back of it. And... That's what I love about these that are on these little these little papers. Okay, and then just add that to our card. And now what I need to do is to grab my scrap paper again because I know you probably can't see it, but we have coordinating um, silks. And this is the Cool Pull silk right here. So I'm just going to add a little bit of splash because I love 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 this stuff you always want to make sure that you're going to shake it until you hear that little bb in the bottom move that means that um, it's it's moving all the stuff that's settled to the bottom and then what i'm going to do is very carefully just splash it i call this the cigarette method okay and i'm just going to splash i like adding it to my bow so i'm just going to make sure that i get it everywhere you can do this before you add it to your card if you really need to but um it's just absolutely gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. You know what? I could even add one of these little bows to the top. I'm going to play with this. Hop on over to my um, to my blog and you're going to see exactly what I do with this card. So let me just set this one aside. That one is completed now. Let me set this aside and I want to show you some really cool things that you can do with um, our wallpaper technique. So remember the stamp set that we just used. Here we are. Okay, so we used this stamp set. I never removed these. These are the same stamps that I used for this next piece of wallpaper. So, here it is right here. I did it on an 8.5 by 11 sheet of paper. This is an 8.5 by 11 sheet of paper, and what you can do is you can um, cut it and use it for four different cards or different layers. You can even do it for um, smaller layers. You're going to see a, a, a post on my blog and I, I'll show you how to do that. Um, what I want you to also do is if you don't want to cut it up for a card right now, just cut it up at four and a quarter by five and a half and keep those four pieces together and that way there when you're ready to use it you can cut it down to the size that you want but you have a piece that's already made up so you can leave it whole you can cut it down to four um, even quarters or you can cut it up to the size that you, you think you're going to use right away so this is a really neat way to do it don't stop there so this is an eight and a half by eleven sheet if you take our whipped cream white cardstock in twelve by twelve you can make an entire twelve by twelve piece and then use it as a one sheet wonder. I love doing this. This is just so much fun. I have a pattern on my blog for the one sheet wonder and if you cut it into six, you know, into, I'm sorry, into six by six pieces, so that would be four, um, four cuts, all you have to do is follow this method. So when you go to stamp this, you're going to stamp it right there in the middle and what I say that on this one because what you don't want to do is to get trapped by starting it on the outside because in the middle you're going to end up with no place to go. So what I want you to do is I want you to stamp this down then you're going to ink it up and you're going to find a little spot like this and you're going to work your way out and then I'd, I'd ink it back up and I'd stamp it up here and then I'd ink it back up and you see where I'm, I'm um, just kind of nesting everything in here and remember I told you to leave things hanging out because see that just helps it nest right inside that next spot so when you are done you're going to get a piece that's going to look just like this it is a 12 by 12 sheet of paper and it's done so the next the next spot that I would do let me just show you the next spot that I would do would be this piece right here so I would just add I would just kind of go around and see where I could um, fit it on the next one you just don't want to get yourself trapped so that you have a blank spot you can always take one of these off and put it on another block and fill in or you can fill in with words this is an amazing technique now if you're not um, already zoomed up about that and excited let me 
excuse me, let me just show you a cu another couple of things. You don't have to use flowers. You can actually use stamp sets. So let's say we have a guy card that we have to make. Why don't you um, grab the African Safari stamp set with the African Safari stamps, which I just think are absolutely out of this world. I love that sketchy technique or that sketchy style. That is so totally me. I love this. Okay, so what did I do with this one? Look at that. So what I'll do is I'll end up cutting it into my layers. That is my wallpaper. Do you know how fast this is to stamp? And like I said, you can pretend this is designer series paper, okay? All you have to do is file it until you're ready, or you can take and cut it up and have your own file already um, ready with your own handmade printed papers. So that one is done with the African Safari stamp. Um, nice, great little great card, or guy card. You know we have Mother's Day coming up, and I just love this stamp set. It's been in our catalog for oh, uh, for a year or more, um, and it is just the most adorable little one. So I think this is going to be great for a Mother's Day card. All right, so we have our tea set. It's called Tea Time, and look at what I did. I just stamped all of the um, tea, tea um, cups around here. Now, you could take and you could stamp each one individually, but why not just put them all onto that super block? Block. You need to get one of these super blocks, okay? This is this block right here is um, block J. It's got the grid lines on it. It's got the little flower on the top so you know which is the top and which is the bottom. Super, super, super block to get. The J block, okay? Now, there is our Mother's Day background. For my next wallpaper, I used the stamp set called Hello Amazing, and it has some beautiful pieces into it. I used these two wreaths right here, and for this one, I did it a little bit differently. I actually overlapped them on purpose, and that way there, it was like the rings were connected kind of thing. And I used a stamp set from a St. Patrick's Day stamp set, and I used the words, Lucky Me to Know You. It doesn't have to be a stamp, uh, a, a card made for St. Patrick's Day to use that stamp. I'm, I'm using that just because we have have a special going on right now for the month of March 2016. Um, we have the Lucky Me uh, sale, and it is all of our green things that are on sale. There's a whole sheet. Hop on over to my blog, and you can see those. But this is the background that I made with that stamp set. And last but not least, are you ready for this one? This is my all-time favorite. Here is the stamp set. It's called Doily Blooms. Very, very gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous stamp set. It also has, here's the stamp set, it also has um, a bundle, which is the Doily Blooms die set. So these two go together, but I want to show you what I made with this. It is, wait until you see the card, but look at the wallpaper that I made. I used our black licorice cardstock, and then I used our buttercream infusion ink, and it came out absolutely, <clears throat> excuse me, gorgeous. This, I, I can't show you um, the beauty of it. You have to actually do it for yourself. Intricate, gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Um, like I said, this was a great class. It was um, it was one of my clubs, and uh, I just enjoyed doing it. So, again, added it to my video library. It is called the Wallpaper Technique. If you have any questions, let me know. You know how to get a hold of me. I appreciate you stopping by. Thank you, and have a great day.